What's going on everyone? I'm Will with Private Programmer and I'm here to help you build software and make money with it too. Now in today's video it's going to be part of a series and that series is you know how do I find my first programming language to get started with? It's a very great question and that all depends on a few questions that I think would really be beneficial to you finding your first programming language. So in all these videos in this series, I'm going to be asking a simple question of, you know, you're wanting to learn programming, right? You're wanting to pick a language, but you don't know which one to choose. Well, think about it this way. You know, when you learn your first programming language, what is it that you want to build, right? This video, we're going to be going over desktop applications. So if you're wanting to get started in programming and you haven't had a language yet and you're still thinking about which one to choose, this one is going to be dedicated to making a desktop application. Now, I already have a few tabs opened up here. Now, if you're wanting to create a Windows application, then great. All you have to learn is C Sharp. Now, on top of C Sharp, after you've learned it, you need to learn their UI framework. And from what I can see is you need to create a WPF app. And I think there are a few other options for you to choose a to make a UI application, but it does seem like WPF is the way to go if you're wanting to just create a Windows 10 application. Now, if you're wanting to target Mac OS, then you're gonna be learning how to use Swift. Now, Swift is a programming language that was built by Apple and it is used for all of the different Apple products, you know, TVs, watches, your computer, and your phone. So in order for you to create a Mac OS desktop application with Swift, you'll also need to learn how to use AppKit. Now, I'm not gonna be going into each one of these different things, like, oh, this is how you would create a CPF application, this is how you would use AppKit. I'm not gonna go into those because these videos are just to tell you like, hey, you're wanting to create this thing, great. I'm gonna be showing you, you know, what languages are out there for you to utilize that you, know, you should probably learn at first so that when you actually get to know the programming language, you'll immediately be able to create the dream project you've always been wanting to make. So again, Swift with AppKit, you'll be able to create a Mac OS desktop application. So with GTK, you can create a Linux desktop application. Now there are multiple languages to choose from because GTK is kind of like a uh, a framework that will kind of translate the programming language that you're bringing into it into I think C or C I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it translates it into C so that Linux can be able to use it but you can use Python JavaScript C++ Perl D I've never heard of D and Rust so from this list I'm telling you right now that You'll probably want to go with Python, JavaScript, or Rust just because they are all pretty simple to understand and they are, you know, really decent first time learning programming languages. Now, if you're wanting to use C++, Perl, or D for any other kind of kinds of projects that are in this video series, then by all means learn C++. But from what I would personally use with Python, JavaScript, or Rust, you know, I most of my development time has been going, going into JavaScript. I do know quite a bit of Python, and I'm just starting to learn Rust. So out of this list, I'd probably go with Rust just because, you know, I have done a lot of stuff in JavaScript and a little bit in Python. I haven't touched Rust at all, but with how Rust is built and how the way it manages memory, it doesn't really manage memory, it just does it at compile time. But the way that Rust is built, I feel like that would be a better programming language for building a desktop application. And now, if you're wanting to target all three platforms, Mac, Windows, and Linux, I highly recommend getting into Electron. Electron is like a really amazing just because it's built on top of uh, NPM, which is a package manager for Node.js. So you're going to be writing all your stuff in JavaScript, and the UI is made in HTML and CSS. So I, I highly recommend looking into Electron JS, but there is quite a few other options. But there is another option that stood out to me, and that is Hacks. And I've never touched Hacks before, but it looks pretty cool because you can actually write your stuff in JavaScript, C++, C Sharp, Java, Java, JVM, Python, Lua, PHP, Flash, and you can also do native capabilities. So you can also write your stuff in C Sharp or Swift. 
So it does this does look a little bit more promising than Electron because you know if you're wanting to learn a programming language that can go across you know games, uh, desktop apps, mobile apps, uh, I'd probably also look into Hacks. So just depending on the language that you're wanting to learn, I tend to lean towards JavaScript just because I know it fairly well, even though I probably shouldn't be doing that. But with a cross-platform framework, I would probably you know, it doesn't really matter the language that you're learning just because it's all going to get transcribed down to a like base language. So anyways, Electron.js or Hacks for cross-platform development. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen me before or you've been watching my videos, you know, please hit subscribe. You'll be able to get, you know, uptime notifications for other videos I'm making. If you didn't like this video, I'm really sorry. Just leave a comment below if you did like it and you want to tell me how I did, leave a comment below. Anyways, I'll be showing you guys the next steps to learning your next programming languages in the next videos. So without further ado, peace.